all parents want what is best for their children, and that doesn't end when those children become adults. But what if your adult child is out of control because of drugs or mental illness? How much can a parent really do? This painful situation, of course, is being played out before the public eye in the case of Britney Spears and her parents, and Juju Chang is here with more. Good morning, Robin. You know, earlier this week, Britney Spears' father was given control of her estate after a judge found she was no longer capable of looking out for her own self-interest. But while her father, Jamie, is now able to protect his daughter's finances, it's not clear how much he or any parent can do to protect an adult child from spinning out of control. Britney Spears checks herself out of UCLA Hospital and steps back into the glare of the paparazzi. Oh, my God. On her way home, they swarmed her car like bees. How do you feel, Brittany? Brittany's parents condemned the release, issuing a statement saying, we are deeply concerned about our daughter's safety and vulnerability. We believe her life is presently at risk. Spears' parents' public anguish and feelings of powerlessness over the situation are ones that Mark Thompson knows well. I'd worked in mental health all my career, and I believed that um, it was, it was uh, a mental health issue or a learning problem. Even though he's a licensed therapist, Thompson says he didn't see the signs that his own son, Bob, was a drug addict, spiraling out of control. Tara Fields, a therapist who's been featured on a and e series Intervention, says parents often avoid confrontation, especially when their children become adults. I have seen parents who say, I will do anything for my child, but when they start getting angry at mom, mom's the first one to give them that six-pack of beer. Thompson refused to enable the addiction, and today his 29-year-old son is two and a half years sober. He says sometimes it's not just the addict who's in denial. The parental pride and denial uh, kills kids because uh, parents, they, we feel our kids are our report cards and we don't want to admit there's a problem. What I would say to anyone who even has a suspicion that someone they love or their child may be mentally ill, dealing with depression, bipolar, drugs or alcohol, go talk to a professional. Intervention specialists say the key is not to wait for your loved one to bottom out because it's often too late at that point and that the biggest mistake parents can make is that they don't intervene as a team. Everyone should be on the same page and firmly committed. And the final tip is even if the adult child responds angrily, intervention is an act of love. Because you hear some parents say, you know, but my child, even as an adult, will become angry with me. I do this, but it's, it's an act of love. You have to weather that storm. Oh, boy. A lot of families are dealing with this, as mm -hmm. you know, Juju. Thanks okay. so much.